Alright, after so many freaking crap in the stupid dumb piece of crap camera I have, which this camera is just five years old, it's stupid as hell, keep on being very, very dumb and saying, uh, these batteries suck, or, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, why can't this bat, why can this freaking stupid camera be one with a battery inside it where I can recharge instead of having to get new batteries every single time, which I usually have rechargeable batteries. But what's more important right now is showing you my vault. So, let's go with. I'm just going to show you in honor of MMPR Toys the fact that they hit 20 subscribers on Saturday. I say, why not show you the horror within my collection? So, we'll go with Zero Razor 5 Super Battle Zord. As you can see, it's, it's okay. The only messed up part is, oh my gosh. And this is the one that happened most recently, like at least two or three years ago. Other than that, it's very, very good. I mean, you just have to clean it a little bit, but it's very good. It's just that messed up thing. Alright, next up is the Yellow Ranger Zord. I remember something was wrong with it, which all it is is just right there. You can see that the mask you put over it, it's been broken. I guess you can't see it with this lighting exactly, but yeah, it's broken off. Oh, and this something happened years ago. Actually, when I first bought it, this came off. The actual piece to put this on came off. And I tried putting it back together when I was little, but sadly, it fell apart and then it completely fell off and then it became... Oh, I don't know where it went. Alright, I guess one of the crown jewels of Oh My Gosh You Didn't was... The Falcon Zord, the actual Falcon Zord, this is not the Japanese one. I wish it was, so at least right here wouldn't be in vain where, like, this compartment right here looks like it contained batteries or something. Which, in the Japanese version, you actually could have, stupid thing, you actually, it was really electronic and it can be used, and I wish it was that one, but... It wasn't. Sadly, its toe got battle damaged. And, let me show you what happens with the freaking head. You could pop the head off. You could pop it right off. Yeah, I noticed the fact that that compartment is stuck on the neck. Which, the good news is that you, it can be put back on. That's the good news. You saw it. It could be back on. The only messed up part is just the fact that I need to super glue it so it can actually stay on without popping it off. Other than that, the only messed up parts is just to get all of the stickers, which I bet I can find someone who will have all the stickers. Or I can find someone who can actually paint it on. And, well, it's kind of in good condition, but you can notice that some of the stickering got... Yeah, you can just notice that. And I think... That, yeah, stickering too, which I would have rather it been painted, so at least... It, I won't get the stupid thing of, oh, you did a sucky job as a kid taking care of your stuff. Oh, you suck as a kid. Which, well, kids, if you're very, very creative and you wanted to see something and, well, if you're a boy, an actual boy, you'll notice that, yeah, you'll get some hard times with your toys and it comes to the point of, oh, dang. Which, here we go, Zeo Battle Zord 4. Only one piece has been broken, but the good news is that it still works anyways, and it's pretty good, actually. It really, really good. I mean, unlike the actual Zeo Zord, most of the stickers that was put on it is still on it. Zeo Ranger 3, most... Zeo Ranger Zord 3 was good. The only mess up part is that I did take off some of the stickers. The other stickers did manage to stay on. Got some scope on there, but the good news is that if that hinge right there, if the peg right here, if this broke off, it's the end of 
having it like this but luckily it stayed which I am glad Zeo Ranger 1 Megazord it's kinda is coming off I bet I can hopefully I really hope if I really want to repair these and make it better is that someone does have the stickers out there and they're willing to be like alright I made custom stickers for it and I'll get you pay a little small amount the good news is that this one wasn't really damaged at all it's just a little bit scuffed and you also get to see the serial number right there which technically I don't even remember seeing that serial number but it looks like it was at least this is the 88th millionth one sorry about that it was a little stupid cutoff but yeah this was close to being the ninth the 89th millionth one okay you have the Zeo Zeo Zord for the Yellow Ranger good news is that this one is quite okay of course you're like where's the helmet which the helmet is right about here that's the good news oh and one thing about the other Zeo Zord which I I think I've looked at all of the Zeo, Super Zeo Zords I do have the sword for it and I do have the helmet for it but the helmet is damaged as you can see because of Zero Ranger 2 and I do have the swords but with the first Mega Zord for Zeo I don't have that Zord I mean I don't have that sword alright here's Zero Ranger 1 it's quite okay everything is good with Zeo Ranger those I'm glad I'm able to get this guy back well he wasn't anywhere it's just that because I had toys everywhere his helmet along with his horns was in different places but finally he's all okay he's actually the same thank goodness I mean yeah the funny part is that look even though he's been wear and tear his freaking stickers stayed yeah those are actually stickers made from the factory itself and of course the guy that really got beaten up a lot was this guy right here which notice that his face is completely beaten or is that yeah his face is completely beaten his nose is a bit tarnished too yeah he took quite a beating I took off the stickers on that one hopefully someone actually has stickers for this dude as well at least some of the stickers right here is still okay except some is peeling though but yeah I have this helmet in here too his helmet actually does need some paint or stickering I think more like stickering this guy needs stickering as well but he is quite good he just needs some paint job and well here's the worst part about it of having this toy with me is look at the back the back is completely destroyed yeah of course you guys are gonna say oh you're wearing territy a lot well it makes sense and like but seriously no it wasn't like that technically this is when it comes to the Zeo Ranger Zords I kinda got screwed in the deal oh yeah here we go hold it uh, yeah here's the point I was wanted to show I got screwed in the deal as soon as I actually tried to put it together guess what happened patonk yeah I wish I knew when I was little that you could actually take it back to the store and say hey this toy was very fragile the peg actually popped out as soon as we tried to put it on of course they might actually be like uh well it sucks for you buddy and all that and look at that it says made in Taiwan no way yeah but it would be like hey mm, it's too bad for you buddy yeah it sucks for you which the funny thing is my mom actually yeah the head is actually good my mom actually put a rubber band around it and she said there you go that's how we're going to fix it is by putting a rubber band on it oh yeah and there's my red ranger I remember when I bought that I think I actually bought it from a Win dixie yep Win dixie sorry for the 
things and I have many of these actually I still actually have to go to my room and get the mammoth mastodon one minute right quick gotta love movie magic here's mastodon I also have triceratops saber tooth tiger got destroyed um pterodactyl I think you could actually rebuild that one its wings is missing Tyrannosaurus, the last time I saw that one, his head was gone. Yeah, and as for Sabretooth Tiger, I think we can say Sabretooth Tiger was most likely stepped on and destroyed. If not, it was taken to the dump when I was five years old because I had too much toys. And along with that, my Batman ball that I enjoyed so much got rid, got getting gotten rid of. Yeah, but. When Mighty Machines was a thing, how about I hold some of these? Yeah, I'll take some of these out and just interview them. Alright, yeah, I got that from a cake or something. I think I got it from a thrift store for some money. Didn't even mean to get it either. So, yeah. Basically, when Mighty Machines was awesome which I think yeah Triceratops is way in there I actually do have the Megazord too you have the Megazord form of it along with those little guys right there I also have I had the miniature Megazord for Super Zeozord Megazord but because I was such a good kid back then I actually gave that one away along with Zack from Flipping Head Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Along with getting my whole collection of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for flip heads. After I actually spent years and months making sure that the pieces that was breaking off would stay. The next door neighbor stole it from me. Of course I was going to tell you about the story of my next door neighbor. When I had a first neighbor and my first neighbor actually had the battle zord for Zeo. The only messed up part is that he didn't have the head and I wish a long time ago his mother and my mother agreed and say okay you can actually go in their house and I would actually look for the head myself so we can actually do the Super Zeo Megazord transformation. But oh well. They moved to New York before 2001. Yeah, that's a bad omen, isn't it? So, yeah, Mighty Machines had their own thing. If you're going to ask, uh, what about the Zeo miniature ones that you're talking about? I do have those. Those are safe. I don't really, I'm not able to get those right now because I think they're in one of these boxes, which it needs to be transported here. But they're safe. You know, they're very safe. Except for like at least two of the monsters that got their arm torn off due to they're with bigger toys and things happen when you get moved to places. Well, anyways, I should also show you the Zords I have now that are completely safe. I did buy the Disney Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Mega Zord. I guess I should show you that one. I'll have a quick flip of showing that one in my hand and then back to normality. I'll be back in one second. Alright, here it is. It is actually the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord from 2010. I guess the good part about having this guy is now even when I get the Dragon Zord, which I will get that Legacy Dragon Zord very soon, I'll be able to combine it and make Super Dragon Zord along with Dragon Zord Battle Mode and still have the actual Megazord side-by-side -side comparison of them which that would be cool and I guess I could actually do reviews on them if someone was like oh, I would like to see your opinion about it which I bet it's slim to none if that happens okay so let me just put these guys down there eventually I most likely will have something very cool well about childhood I had a hat I also had some actual sneakers that was Red Ranger appareled. I wish I... I enjoyed those. I really did. I wish I actually told my mom, hey, um, can we keep those and not send them to 
Salvation Army or something, and who knows what would have happened. I would have kept those, have my kid actually wear those. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyways, here is my haul for 2013. I actually got Shinkino. I was very happy because... Eventually, I would start my journey on the whole, I'll collect Super Sentai stuff, and I have quite a list. Usually, well, this is like the first one I actually was like, for five Rangers, I would rather get this one than the six Rangers Mecha, which in later versions like Go Sagers and Go Kaisers, Go Busters, sadly the toy line doesn't spark an interest with me but if they would have done it I would actually supported it so they wouldn't be like ah oh, screw it we'll pull the plug on it like they did just now as for Karuger I would actually say the whole entire set I would like it but when it comes to just saying which one I like the best and I would just have one I would say number nine was yeah here's the legacy Megazord of course if you're asking and you don't know about what's the difference between them. The Disney one and this Legacy one are made differently. The Legacy one was built with care. And the Disney one was made for kids playing purposes only. And here's the Power Morpher. The Legacy Power Morpher. And I do have to admit it was quite cool. Trying it out. And then after I tried it out for like a few minutes, I was like, okay, I'm putting it up so nothing will happen. Of course, if you notice, I also get Transformer stuff too. I decided to put the Transformer stuff in there as well. Also a Spider-Man fan and also a... Nintendo fan as well, if you can see down there. Alright. Oh yeah, and I also have the action figures from the recent Legacy thing, which, speaking of Power Rangers, I guess I could also say the fact of, if you look right there, I also have the Power Ranger Zeo book bag. I don't think I had the first one. I guess I should keep this open so I can continue talking and have reference to what I'm talking about yeah so I have a Power Ranger book bag and well yeah I did have the toys I had the Gold Ranger the same one who same neighbor who had the Battle Zord tossed my Gold Ranger over the pond we had and I had a chance to actually get it but because it's been there for so long, it was kind of like, ew, it's dirty. And the stupid kid, when I was actually walking, I was like, oh my gosh, the Gold Ranger. The kid kicked in the water. I was like, oh, well, it might have germs and stuff. I wish I got it. I wish I got it. But anyways, I did get to have a replacement of it. The one I really wanted. Because that one was just nothing but a shift changer. The fact that if you have a button, you'll go ch 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 I do have the goat staff for it, and I can't find it. I do have Paramidus, and it's almost completed. The only messed up part is that when I was little, the feet of it went under the stove. Yeah. And we weren't able to get it from under the stove, so maybe even till this day, it's still in that townhouse under the stove, along with many of my Lego pieces that were under the stove well not under the stove but I put them in the what was it air conditioning system so if they didn't change the air conditioning system they still have Lego parts in there that they if they can get it out of I wish they would actually say who used to live here I would love to give them the pieces back well anyways besides that we also, I also has a have a clay model of the Rangers in a box yeah I really got pandemonium on that and I used to have the actual original poster of them but I gave it to a friend when I was nine years old that same friend also stole a DS a GameCube no, a GameCube a Game Boy Color game I had along with 
two of the five guns I had for three of the five guns I had for Power Rangers Time Force. I also gave him the Red Jungle Force Ranger. Funny that those were actually from my pocket because I was cut off when I was 11. And I also gave him, oh yeah, the Red Time Force Ranger. Yeah, everyone right now would be like, oh my gosh, dude, you're such an idiot. Which, hey, that's part of being a kid, the fact that I was like, you don't have any toys here, man, you can hold this. You can have it. Because I already got a Red Ranger, the Time Force Quantum Ranger. Which, personally, if I could actually redo what I did when I was a kid, I would. I would so redo it and be so selfish. <laughs> I guess we'll end this with the toys I could have had in a toy search I did a long time ago. So I guess the first one will actually be talking about the Red Dragon Thunder Zord. I really wanted it. We tried to look for everywhere for it, but it wasn't nowhere to be found. They only just had the strike team, which even if I did get the strike team, there was a kid in my elementary school who did have the white tiger zord and I could have combined it with them but that's the only good they're good for it's just the combining thing I mean even yeah to this day I guess if I did buy it and I did actually take good care of it and kept it in the box and was pissed off but I still got it I guess I would have been able to sell it for a lot of money which that would have been cool I suppose that money would go straight into getting something else. <laughs> so yeah, we did. I talked about that one. Uh, let's see what else. I guess we'll close it with the things my cousin had when I was 11. And what he told me. So, when I was 11, I went to a family reunion, right? And in a family reunion, I guess I should just show you something cool too while I'm talking. Yeah, I had some good times with this guy. My friend actually have one of these non-touched, non-scratched. As you can see, he got some battle damage on it. But anyways. <laughs> well, anyways, so basically, my cousin, we went to his house. And after we went to his house, okay, and after this one, I have one more thing to say on that one. But after we went to his house... He actually had the left leg. I saw the freaking unic griffin. It was a griffin. Yeah, I saw the Thunder Zord griffin in his freaking garage. And I was like, oh my gosh, no freaking way. And as soon as we went down to the basement, guess what I saw? I saw the freaking Megazord I've wanted since I saw the TV show. It was the Super Train Megazord. And he had the Rescue Zords in there too. And guess what he told me? He said, you can have them. I was like, oh my gosh. Actually, I was playing with the first and I was like, oh my gosh. I actually am touching the Super Train Megazord. I mean, how unbelievable is that? And back in the day, it was basically, that was the largest Megazord that was ever built, even though I have seen many reviews lately. And there was one that was like, even though it was stated to be one of the biggest Megazords, it's not one of the top five. And I was like, oh, damn it. That is not right at freaking all. But anyways, I would have enjoyed having it and the Rescue Zord. And it would have been treated like freaking royalty. But guess who stopped me? It was my dad. My dad told me to put them down and leave them alone. And I was like... Seriously, I was like, I mean, oh my gosh, you told me the thing I really truly wanted, Zord-wise, and you told me to put it the down. I mean, seriously, and the worst thing is that instead of getting it free, and it came with the rescue Zords, guess how much it'll cost now? Over $500. That's getting right. I could have got something for absolutely free, and it came from my cousin, and I could have actually been like, oh my gosh, no freaking way, and also definitely kept in touch with my cousin saying, hey, thank you, man, you rock. It turned into my dad, damn it. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss, but yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say. But really, it was like, damn it, man. Damn it. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically my story on how I got screwed for freaking life. Yeah. And uh, the only other thing is... Hmm, hold on, be right... Well, this one's in my room. This is the Gold Ranger I was talking about, the one I really, really wanted as a kid. The one that doesn't have that stupid action. It actually is a freaking action figure by itself. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did get the movie ones, and I also got some of the McDonald's toys, most of all of them, until when I was 10, and I left the Yellow Ranger in my freaking cousin's place. And it's not known to this day if she still has it. So, yeah, I'm missing the Yellow Ranger from the Power Ranger movie sets. But, with that said, when it comes to the Green Ranger, the Green Ranger flip one, lots of people, especially the guy I was watching who was like, the sh it was the Hurricane Red vest that was in Akiba Ranger, it was very difficult? No. Unlike this one, unlike the recent one right now, this one right here is 15 years ago, so 10 years ago, that you're able to snap on and it stays on completely. The Green Ranger's freaking vest didn't do crap. The Green Ranger vest was the hardest thing I ever freaking had as a kid to use. Because the Green Ranger vest was... I think it was chrome. I think it was kind of chrome. It was shinier than this. And you just had two pegs. You put it together and there's the vest. But the thing is, is that it always came apart. My mom even super glued it. And it came apart. That was like the most difficult vest I ever dealt with. As for his Hurricane Red vest. Yeah. I think that one is actually a bit more durable and better than that one. As for where's the vest now, I don't really know, actually. I might still have it, I might not. And to end this, I would just say the movie versions of the toys, the shiny ones. I had the black one, I have the red one, I have the yellow one, and I have the pink one. Sadly, due to the flip heads and their legs keep on popping off, I had to sacrifice the legs of the red one and the pink one. But the black one is still good, and the yellow one had... I know where her arm is, hand is. I can't find it right now, but yeah, we her hand is missing, so yeah, that sucks. Oh yeah, it also has the ninja versions of them, but some of them broke. It was like the pink one broke, the white one's still good, the black one was okay, the yellow one broke, the blue one, its hand broke off. And the red one was okay, but he, he was trying to expose his groin area, and I had to do something about it, which I hope I'm able to undo what I did, because I decided instead of using super glue, I actually used gum to fix it. And it did a good job, but it looks horrible, and I actually ripped, a cl I ripped some actual undershirt that wasn't needed anymore I ripped it and I made a white belt to tie over him and that white belt actually is better than the belt it originally came with which all those belts are gone their weapons are scattered everywhere technically that toy line was the most piece of crap they ever made <laughs> technically I guess until now all toys are pieces of crap well I can't really say that because they do have 4 inches and 5 inches toys now, so, yeah. Well, thank you for listening, and I'm glad you guys got 20 plus subscribers, and yay for 20 years of Power Rangers, even though I thought they would die, and in 2010, that's when I went to Shinkinger and became a Super Sentai fan. I, just, I still watch it, it's just that I mumble and criticize it and say how stupid it is and how dumb it is and how they should have done it better and how they should have brought Ron Wasserman back and do the music should have got all the freaking payments and credits so they could have actually made it even better with all the tunes that they could have played played I think they did you journal Jungle Fury they did have Jungle Fury in there so how come they didn't have Mystic Force 
or I don't think they did RPM yet. They did do Decker Ranger slash SPD. Oh, anyways, I'm joining on. I'm done. Congratulations. Peace out.